Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today to talk about spool gun options for your Millermatic series machines. So today in this video, we're gonna go over the series of spool guns that Miller makes to fit all their equipment. Um, so let's just dive right in. So they make a series of spool guns that they make a 100, a 150, a 200, and then you go into industrial 30A uh, spool guns. So today I got the Spoolmate 100 and the Spoolmate 150 with me. I'm going to talk about the main comparison and you know, differences between these two. Um, so, as you can see, the Spoolmate 100 comes in a carrying case. Um, it's a nice case it comes in. Everything's in there. You got extra contact tips. Your lead wound up. Uh, you know, it's all Velcroed in that case. So the 150 does not come with a case, but the 100 does. But this is only a 12-foot lead, and this is a 20-foot lead. And it's got a little bit, the 150 has a higher duty cycle than the 100. So just to go over that a little bit, so at 135 amps, the 100 has a 30% duty cycle. And at 150 amps, this has a 60% duty cycle. So you're getting a lot more out of the 150 than you are the 100. But it comes with a nice, the 100 has a nice carrying case. It'll fit the 141 on up to the 235. So it'll fit all the Miller equipment in between there. Um, the 150 will fit all the Miller equipment in between two, 141 all the way up to the 235. Um, just no carrying case, but you get a longer lead, heavier duty cycle. They both take the same contact tips. They both hold, hold a four inch roll of aluminum wire. Um, the biggest difference on the aluminum side of things is this thing only runs 4043. This thing around 4043 or 5356. So the 4000 series and 5000 series on the 150 and 200 and only a 4000 series on the 100. Um, that's the biggest difference between the two. So if you're ever gonna run a 5356, you gotta get the 150. Um, I've tried it with the 100 and it does not work. Well, it doesn't work well, I shouldn't say. It, it arcs, but it just doesn't work well. Uh, but still comes in a nice carrying case. Price difference between the two right now is roughly in the ballpark 200 to 250 bucks between the two of these difference. Um, obviously the 100 is cheaper. Um, so just to talk about, we got a Multimag 220 here, and these things have a uh, smart system. So when we plug that in, I'll show you here, it uses the same power pin as your MIG gun for your 220 and the same power cord for the trigger wire here. But when we do that, so say we're on MIG steel, 7525 gas, showing us how to hook all our MIG gun up and everything. Now, it's saying there's a spool gun attached. So as long as I hit that trigger, I'll show you that. So then it starts to run the spool gun because it knows the spool gun's already hooked up. But if I take, unplug that trigger wire here, the spool gun goes away. So now it thinks we're back to a regular MIG gun. So it, it automatically knows that, hey, you've got a spool gun hooked up to this 220 and it's ready to rock on that spool gun. So it's putting drive uh, electricity to the drive motor in the spool gun, so we're ready to weld. Now, the spool guns will run aluminum, steel, and stainless steel. So I know some people that, um, instead of buying a big spool of stainless, right, they'll buy a one pound spool or two pound spool of stainless steel and they'll run it through their spool gun. It'll do it, um, and it, 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 does, you know, it does okay on it. Obviously, it's not gonna be the same as direct driving it through your your MIG gun, but in a pinch it'll it'll work. Um, but all I mean the, the units are very similar. You got a little bit different, um, you know. I guess gooseneck setup on the 100, but all the drive roll systems are the same. Pretty easy to load. This is just where you take take this off and your wire goes in, and you feed it through. Pretty simple. Everything's pretty clear cut. Um, I've welded with both the 100 and the 150 and on odd jobs in the field, uh, building a little gate for an aluminum ramp. And actually they both run really, really well. I, I can't complain about either one. Uh, the only biggest complaint I do have is uh, feeding the wire through the system. Takes a second, once you get it down, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like riding a bike, you can get it every time. But it's just feeding it through this liner, through your dry rolls, and then out the end of the gun. It's a, it's a little tough, but it is doable and it can be done. So don't be discouraged when you first get after trying to do that. Um, it can be kind of difficult. But if you got any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. 
we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.